What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Celio's Network. Today starts my Sword and Shield TCG set review, and I will be rating and reviewing the cards separately based on the Pokemon type and trainer cards, and today is going to be all grass type Pokemon. Before we get into that, I'd like to shout out PoTownStore.com, a great place to get your Sword and Shield PTCGO codes when they come out. And uh, they have most PTCGO codes that you could want there. You can use code Celio for 5% off your orders. And also FlipSideGaming.com where I write free articles. And you can use code Celio all caps for 10% off of your next order, $10 or more. So like I said, we're going to be doing grass type Pokemon today. But I just want to go over how I am rating these cards really quick. So I'll be rating the cards based on their viability in the Ultra Prism through Sword and Shield standard format. Which will be the standard format once Sword and Shield becomes legal. I will be omitting pre-evolution cards unless they are notable. So we won't be just looking at every Pikachu card if, the, uh, if it's not notable to the evolution line or if it's not a good card on its own. Uh, these are my opinions, remember, so feel free to disagree and create productive discussion in the comments below. Uh, more opinions are better. We can see different viewpoints and maybe form uh, better opinions on some of the cards that I'm talking about in these videos. So this is the legend. Uh, we'll be going from one star to five star. One star means it's a bulk card. It's likely unplayable. Two stars means that the card may have a niche use depending on other cards being good or future cards. Uh, so a card that's not really good standalone, but maybe a card comes out in a future set that makes it really good. Or uh, maybe other cards in the set or depending on the meta. We see this happen all the time where cards aren't obviously great, but they can be used in certain situations or certain meta games. Uh, three stars means that we'll likely see some play. It's an average card, give or take. Four stars, good card that we'll see play and is overall above average. So four stars where we're getting into, I pretty much guarantee this card will see some play. And then five stars, it's a very good card and it is potentially meta defining. This will see play and it will see success. So let's get into the grass Pokemon. We're starting with a Roserade. Roserade is a 120 HP grass type stage one Pokemon. Uh, for one grass energy, it does numbness poison for 30. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Flip a coin if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. It also has Mega Drain, grass colorless, colorless for 90. Heal 30 damage from this Pokemon. So the only good thing about Roserade is numbness poison for 30. You're definitely poisoning. And then flip a coin if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Um, maybe if you have something that guarantees the paralysis works and maybe if, uh, Roserade had higher HP, um, but Roserade being used, I think is pretty unlikely paralysis is very strong, but it's, uh, we've got a pretty frail Pokemon here at 120 HP and we're only doing 30 damage. So I am rating it one star. I think it's going to be unplayed. Um, but potentially the only way I could see it happening is if you were guaranteeing that the paralysis happened with something that manipulates the, uh, when you flip a coin of heads kind of thing. Next, we've got Maractus, um, for a grass, for a colorless energy, it does 20 damage. And then for a grass colorless, it does powerful needle 60 times. Flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage times the number of heads. So we've got a grass Pokemon with 110 HP basic, I should mention. Um, and it's only real attack is a flip attack. So it only has 110 HP, so we don't, we can't just tank up a bunch of energy and or i should say we sh we can't rack up a bunch of energy and then expect it to tank hits and keep all that energy um and the the attack is based on flips so again just like the roserade maybe if you were using this in like uh an a, a deck that accelerates energy or like the venusaur that makes your energy count as more energy and you also have like the victini that can let you redo flips and stuff like that. Maybe, 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 but it seems very unlikely. So I have rated Maractus at just one star. Next, we have Orbeetle. It is a grass Pokemon, 130 HP, stage two. Its ability, a bug's radar. Once during your turn, you may look at the top three cards of your opponent's deck and put them back in any order. 
It's attack Brainwave for Grass Colorless 90 plus. It does 30 more damage times the amount of Psychic Energy attached to this Pokemon. So Brainwave, uh, kind of a weird attack there, and it's not really going to do much for us on a 130 HP Stage 2 Pokemon. Um, it, it needs Grass and Psychic Energy to even just do 120. Um, but its ability of Bugs Radar, which allows you to rearrange the top three cards of your opponent's deck, is very interesting since we know how powerful Chip Chip Ice Axe and Hiker and Trick Shovel and cards that man manipulate the opponent's top deck to control them can be. Um, so this is different than Chip Chip because it puts all three back on top in an order. Um, it doesn't get rid of two and then put one back. And also it's on a stage two Pokemon, so you either have to evolve it up to stage one, then up to stage two, or you have to rare candy it. So I rated it at two stars. I do think it could see niche play, but I don't think it's going to be right out of the gate meta. And uh, I, I do think it has some issues. It's not an exact replica of Chip Chip by any means because it is on a Pokemon. It's a stage two. It's an ability that can be shut off and expanded. We are looking at standard here, but it is an ability. Um, it's a stage two. The Pokemon's not very bulky, and it also works slightly different than Chip Chip. So just two stars for Orbeetle for me. Next, we have Rillaboom, a grass 170 HP stage two Pokemon. It's ability Voltage Beat. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for two Grass Energy and attach them to one of your Pokemon, then shuffle your deck. And it's attack Grass, 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 Colorless, Hammer in for 140. Uh, so the attack isn't anything too special, but the ability is something we've seen before, like on Vikavolt, which uh, searched for a Grass and a Lightning and attached them. This searches for two Grass and attaches them to one of your Pokemon. Um, I think this will see play. Even if it's not tier 1, maybe it'll be tier 2 or tier 3, but this card will see play. It has an ability that we've seen succeed again and again. Anytime we have something that searches out energy and attaches them, it's usually pretty good. And we have colorless and we have grass targets for this card. Um, I know Rillaboom V and VMAX I think are coming out. Or the VMAX is coming out potentially in the second Sword and Shield set for US. So maybe this won't be good right away. But uh, it's definitely a good card on its own just because it has the ability to search out those two grass energy. And we know it has potential targets to hit and uh, do well with. Next we've got Eldegoss, uh, grass 80 HP stage 1. So the attack Fluffy Blessing for one colorless, search your deck for three grass energy and attach them to your benched Pokemon in any way you like, then shuffle your deck, leafage for 30, just a grass. So uh, Fluffy Blessing, search your deck for three grass energy and attach them to your benched Pokemon in any way you like. It's a solid energy acceleration. The issue is that it's on a stage one Pokemon. Now if this was on a stage, uh, a basic Pokemon, I think I would say that it's pretty it's pretty solid but being on a stage one it's super questionable i'm not sure if you ever want to put an evolution line in just to attack with this on your second turn at best even if you go second you can't use it turn one because it is on an evolution pokemon um but it's not complete bulk i don't think so i i could see it being useful in some kind of situation or scenario where you have a deck where it needs extra setup time potentially but it's probably just outclassed by using rare candy rillaboom and searching your deck for two grass energy right away with the ability um well it's definitely outclassed by that but uh i didn't want to call it complete bulk i think it has somewhat of something to it uh so we'll give it two stars Me maybe one and a half it's right between one and two but we'll we'll call it two stars for Eldegoss there uh next we've got Delmize V our first V Pokemon that we're looking at 220 HP grass basic Pokemon its first attack is Anchor of Rage for one grass energy it does 30 damage plus if any of your grass Pokemon were knocked out by damage from an opponent's attack during their last turn this attack does 90 more damage so 120 for grass uh one I'm sorry 120 for one grass energy something that we've seen before it is specifically if a grass Pokemon was knocked out but if you're using this in something like a Rillaboom deck or you're accelerating energy to other grass Pokemon that's fine um and then Giga Hammer for Grass, Grass Colorless, it does 200. Uh, so 200, and then it can't attack next turn. So Or it can't use Giga Hammer next turn. So 200 for 3 energy is pretty solid. 
um, and it has 220 HP itself. Now you have to remember these V Pokemon are being made with kind of a different power level in mind than the GX and the tag teams, mostly the tag teams. I think Pokemon went overboard with the tag teams. Um, so the, the V Pokemon seem like they all have a little bit higher HP and then they're not exactly one shotting each other with ease. Um, so it can, it can do 210 if it has a band on it, a vital band. Um, maybe you use Shrine of Punishments to reach 220 in particular matchups. So I do think this card is definitely average. Um, it's not amazing, but it's absolutely not complete binder bulk. Um, the 120 for one with the situation of the grass Pokemon was knocked out a solid. The 200 for three is solid. And uh, the 220 HP is rather high for a basic Pokemon. So three stars for Delmize V. Next, we've got Whimsicott, Grass 100 HP, Stage 1 Pokemon. It has the attack Cotton Drain for one colorless. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. And Leaf Step does 50 for one Grass. So we're just going to look at Cotton Drain here. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent shuffles their active Pokemon and all cards attached to it into their deck. I can see that being useful in some sort of weird disruption deck. So again, uh, like I said, one star is just going to be for bulk. We're going to say this could situationally have a niche use uh, for its cotton drain attack, and we'll give Whimsicott two stars. Durant, uh, grass, 110 HP basic Pokemon. It has one attack, bite together, grass colorless 30 plus. If you have a Durant on your bench, this attack does 60 more damage. So it does six, it does 90 damage for two energy on a basic Pokemon, which even if it, if it did two, if it did 90 for two energy, then I'd say, okay, maybe it's a solid grass attacker. If there's a matchup where, uh, you want to hit grass weakness with a basic Pokemon that's non GX, non EX, non V. Uh, but you have to have another Durant on your bench. So you have to be playing multiple of these things. I don't think that's very good. It's one star. Next, we've got Rillaboom. Uh, this is a different Rillaboom than the first one, 190 HP stage 2 Pokemon, Clang for 90 for Grass Grass Colorless, this attack does 10 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon, and then Driving Contest attack 180, Grass 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 Colorless for 180, and I can't use that attack next turn. So, uh, the only reason I have not rated this one being complete bulk is because there is... Uh, a good Rillaboom, which we looked at, and there are some good grass Pokemon, and there can be a grass archetype. And since Rillaboom has 190 HP, that's rather high for a non GX. Uh, maybe it's worth swinging 180 damage with a non GX that has 190 HP, or with a single prize attacker, I should say, since we do have V Pokemon now. So swinging 180 with a non with a single prize attacker might have some relevance. I'm just rating it two stars, so it's not complete bulk just because of the relevance of other grass cards and the Rillaboom line. Uh, but we'll have to see if it can actually have any competitive value. And lastly, we have Celebi V, our other Grass V Pokemon we'll be looking at. 100 HP basic Pokemon. It has the first attack, Find a Friend Grass. For one Grass, search your deck for up to two Pokemon and put them into your hand, which is decent. We've seen that on Beacon Vulpix before, but that was a free attack. And then we have Line Force Grass colorless, 50 plus, 20 more damage for each of your benched Pokemon. So if you have a full 5 benched Pokemon, that does 150 for, um, 150 for 2 energy. Not too bad in Expanded, of course. It could do a little more with Skyfield. But in Standard, it caps out at 150, 160 with a Vital Band, 170 if you're using Shrine of Punishment. It seems just okay, um... It is only two energy instead of three, like Delmise has to swing 200. So maybe if um, there is a matchup where you want to hit Grass Weakness and 150 does the job, it's uh, so 150 times two would knock out the specific Pokemon you want to knock out, and you think having only two energy attached as the requirement is important instead of having three on a Delmise to do 200 then maybe you would play Celebi V and it also has the find a friend which can be solid if you go second and uh, you need to just search out two Pokemon so Celebi V not complete bulk but not very good um, we're going to give it two stars and say it may have some niche uses
And so that's my reading of all of the grass Pokemon in the set. Like I said, I left out any pre-evolution Pokemon that were not relevant. Uh, so we're not looking at just piles of bulk here. So these are my ratings for the grass Pokemon that we looked at today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and kind of the way I'm going to be going over the cards and rating and reviewing them. Uh, like I said earlier, be sure to check out PoTownStore.com for all of your PTCGO needs and FlipSideGaming.com for literally all gaming stuff, sleeves, packs, singles, articles. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed this rating and review. Tell me what your favorite grass Pokemon on the screen here is. Subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you next time here on Celio's Network.